going to show you something that sounds like it's a pretty dreaded topic through the camper community here. So um, what that is, is the old uh, the poop dispensing. So on our rig we have we have a single we have we have a single uh, outlet for both the gray water and the black water which is right here. So we tend to like to stay at the places where it's just water and electric. Uh, a because it's a little bit more of a money saving with water and electric versus the water electric sewer. But B, majority of the camp sites, like you can see over here, like we're at. Um, there's a creek running along. The next place we're going to for the weekend, there's a creek again, um, but you don't get sewer. All the sewer sites are usually up in an organized area uh, and tend to be a little bit more crammed together. So what we did, knowing that we were going to be at water and electric sites the majority of the time, um, I went on to Amazon and got this, uh, got this tote. Um, Rhino, Rhino uh, is the brand that, I, that we got. Uh, this is 21 gallons. They make them in bigger site, bigger, bigger quantities as well. Um, but the the negative connotation that I'm getting I from got everybody, big shoes on. <laughs> the negative connotation that I get from everybody that I've been talking to as they see me using this, Hi. is Hi. oh my goodness, Hi. you're gonna get poop all over you. The the connotation, the negative part is there. Oh, you get poop all over you. Hmm? Not really. I have yet to have any kind of uh, problems with fiascos getting that doo doo all over me. Uh, I see a lot of people showing how to do this and they're worried about gloves and making sure you have gloves on and things like that. The, the only problem is the gloves that those folks are showing you are cloth, some sort of cloth material, canvas cloths like that. Well, liquid soaks into that so you're really defeating your purpose by using those if you're truly going to use gloves those nitro gloves or the latex gloves are the only way you're going to keep any kind of bloodborne pathogens from uh, coming in contact with you uh, now i'm going to do it without gloves just because i wash my hands immediately afterwards and i'm only dealing with my children and my wife's people <laughs> matters so i'm not afraid of it <laughs> Uh, so basically what you have when you get this kit, uh, it's a 20, this one's 21 gallon. They have them even bigger, which I would, sort of wish I would have gotten a little bigger and I got a because, because uh, the amount that we use with a family of five is uh, I'm draining the gray water tank every day, essentially. Um, so I sort of wish I would have gotten a bigger kit. You guys need to go to the bathroom less. And I got a boo yeah. <laughs> Nice the gray <laughs> water is the bathroom water. Yes. And Mommy. what's the other water? The black water. The black water is the doo doo water. Doo doo water. <laughs> I normally and I got boo -boo. Oh, uh -oh. all summer long. Um, I've been able to pretty much not have to em empty the grit, the black water, except for two places, because most places have a. Uh, their honey wagon come around and it's usually like here it's Monday Wednesday and Friday so with us using it on a regular basis uh, by the time the gray water needs or the black water needs to get uh, flushed the honey wagon is coming through for us and that's free of charge at this particular site to have that done uh, but when you get the kit what you get is the actual cart it's on nice nice hard wheels uh, that you that are they're really heavy and solid um, you also get a bracket that you slide into the handle, like so. It's usually pretty easy. I'm struggling a little bit. I've got it backwards, that's why. Slides in like this, and then the, the loop actually hooks onto your, your trailer tow hitch. Or your kids can carry it. Like so. If they go to the bathroom, make them carry it. And you can actually you can actually haul this behind your behind your truck or, or car um, the next thing that it that it comes with is 
an adapter for when you're actually at the dump station that has the threaded nozzles for the three different sizes. Um, and it's, the thing I like about it is it's clear plastic. The next, the next thing you get is it's actually a five foot extension um, hose. And then I already have, I already have the 90 degree elbow that's also included uh, attached to it right now. Um, this one you use when you're actually draining, so you can actually look into your tank and see when your your height, the level is getting close to being filled. What you're gonna do is is you open up your 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 fill reservoir. As I'm shopping. Um, you put your 90 degree turn on there, and it clicks like so. Uh, and then what you do is, I have it has an end cap as well to, to lock to close them off completely. You're gonna take your your fill cap out, and then I just swap it on right away. You notice I haven't had to touch anything that actually has that fecal matter uh, on it. So what I like to do is I keep it somewhat close. The downside to this setup is that the actual tank is higher than your output. So I like to keep it a little close because then I can actually sort of, I can, I can work it through as it gets down to the very end. So now that we're all hooked together, all I'm gonna do, I'm only draining the gray water right now. Normally, if you have to drain your black water, you're gonna drain black first, your black tank first, and then your gray. That way, if there is any, any uh, solids in the black tank that gets stuck into your tube, you, you, you're able to use your gray water, and that gray water helps get those solids into the tank then at that point. But for now, we're just doing a gray water, so I'm just gonna pull my gray water lever, and you actually get to start seeing it come up through here get this positioned a little better once it, that tube gets filled up it's not extremely filled right now you see the gray water coming out and you with it being clear you get to see where your fluid level is I'm only about right now I'm only about half full not even half full in my tank uh, but I do know that when my oldest daughter Alethea gets here she's gonna need to take a shower and uh, she okay. tends to fill up the tank, <laughs> the tank pretty quickly yeah, and the girls on the shower showers. as well so I'm just making sure I get a drain out of it normally at this point when I first pull that it would be just flushing through right coming through right away but I just want to make sure it's completely drained out but daddy dad if you pull it like full and it you would definitely go. Like right and you see how <laughs> you see how I'm able. I'm with having a little play in this flex hose. I'm able to sort of massage it through the pipe. How do you know if it's done or not? And at this point, I'm actually at this point with not having it super full. I'm not really worried about that level. When it's oh, here we go. Out. I forgot one step. Over here mm -hmm. is a vent. That's why it's not coming through right. Um, over here is a vent that you can turn. And you can see it start to open it up. Ew. So now that that you will let it flow Dad, a little easier. Daddy, there we go. Now it's now it's coming through. It was, that that, I'll show you that a little different. How do you know if it's done or not? So you can see it now if it doesn't come coming down. through there. <coughs> Daddy. Huh? How do you know if it's still, um, uh, finished? Finished not. Well, one of two things are gonna happen. You're gonna have this fill up first. Like I know our tank, our gray water tank is larger than this tank here. So I just have to watch between, I can look down through this, uh, this little loop. I can look through this little hole with a flashlight and see where that level is, uh, the water level. Or I can simply stop my water flow and open this up and get an even better view of, of what I have. Once again, my hands, other than it raining today, my hands are completely dry. I haven't had to come in contact with anything in this system. It's essentially a closed system uh, in the draining process. And if there's a hole in it, yeah, we won't get If there's a hole in it, yeah, you would see that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have one more question I'll give you. You can see the gray water coming out. The gray water is coming from your What's kitchen sink and your shower, and then your, ki your 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 bathroom sink as well. So you really don't have any solids uh, unless 
unless the kernels of rice or something like that would, would be washed down the sink accidentally. Um, How do you know if there's like trash in it? There shouldn't be any trash in it. Yeah, we gotta put. We have, we have a, screens. Yeah, we have drain what? screens. What? To make sure. sink. What's that's, the drain screen? that's one thing that's very important well, with the plumbing well, in your in your camper is that it's not designed like no, ours. Just, we don't you don't have the like, three and four oh. inch piping like you do at home. So it's very important to minimize how many how much solids is actually going down your your sinks. Uh, because they're not designed to, to be able to take chunks like that. What's All right, so I'm finished there. So what I do then is I close off my, my gray water tank, make sure it's completely closed. I'm massaging this to make sure I get the, the bulk of it out. Can I do it? Getting a little heavy. I thought it was water. Like so. So I'm making sure it's all running into that this little gully. And now I don't have anything coming out. So what I'm going to do is I actually turn this... A lot of people grab it from the bulk, but I, there's little knobs, little nubs on the ending. <clears throat> you can turn it and not come into contact with any anything that would happen might happen to drip. And I pull it down so that it drips, it catches anything that's dripping off there. That's the wrong one. And no. then I just take yeah, I take my one. ending, put it on, it seal it off, and then I lift this up <laughs> like so. Once again, I haven't come in contact with and any. Uh, can you grab me the hose there? I haven't come in contact with anything. Then at the, um, where you do your, this one, um, uh, down when you leave, it usually has like this little thing that you stick in it, that's like a hose like that, but you're not down there, and dad's just doing this. So what I'm doing there is I'm just putting some fresh water through it to flush that, flush anything that is there down in. Then we take the cap, put the cap on it. Once again, have not come in contact with anything yet. Use those tabs again, turn that, lift up. Once again, haven't come in contact, don't need that. Okay. Haven't come in contact with any. Wait, I wanna look any inside of it. So you can see the level, this barely, it, because I wasn't that filled, uh, you can see, you can see down in the hole where it's just started. We're not even half filled here. Um, then you, you close everything up. And then you put your hitch on and you're ready to take it up to uh, dump it at the dump station. There is one more cool feature on here that... There's one more cool feature on here that uh, really sold me on this. And I was going to talk setting about here. Um, This piece here... And I was going to say you turn what it. is that because I didn't know what it yeah. is. So you, what you do is you actually can put your your male end of your hose into here. What? And yeah. it And then turn your male hose on. This is when it's empty. Um, it has a little yeah. sprayer nozzle in there that will shoot water to flush your the interior of this out when you're finished with it to help keep uh, any kind of odors from accruing as you're traveling to the next campsite or even at the end of your season or when you're done camping. Uh, if you're part-time camping, if you're done for a month or a couple weeks, whatever, you can use that and that'll help clear out any if there are any solids that would happen to be in here. Um, and it works very well. I've used it two times already this season, even though we've been mm -hmm. going since uh, Memorial, Memorial Day. Um, and we're actually... In has September, two, um, October. Now. Yeah. Um, so at that point, all I'm doing then is I'm going to switch my elbow, my 90 degree elbow, out with my uh, my threaded end because that's what's going to go into the dump the dump station part. Once you get to the dump station, it's just reverse. You're going to take and put your put your hose on here. Make sure your vent's open. The this end then will go into Make your sure this is dump open. station. Mom. And you literally come in no contact with that dump station at all because what you're doing Make is sure you're this actually is open. you're actually the every the dump station levers that you're dumping into have a foot lever there so that you can push it with your foot, open it up, and put that system back in there. Daddy, and that's Daddy. pretty much it. Once Daddy. again, clean hands, dry guys, hands. Let me say, guys, guys. my hands are dirty, guys. but dry <laughs> hands. Guys. All right, so this is what it looks like set up on the hitch. Mm -hmm. um, I just have my two inch hitch on right now but uh 
your actual hitch for your your rig uh, with being the two and five eighths it'll fit on there too it's a large enough loop uh, to fit on there it just literally just sets on but I have I carry my two inch with me all the time um, mm -hmm. so that's how it's set up and we'll just pull away at that point great <laughs> 